is up you guys my name is madison welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new so today in honor of thanksgiving i don't know if it's going up on thanksgiving hopefully it will fingers crossed um i'm gonna be doing like my fall makeup look slash i get ready with me kind of thing um so yeah this is gonna take a really long time because i take a really long time to do my makeup so let's just get started so the first thing I'm doing is putting on hand sanitizer because I'm a germaphobe. This is Champagne Toast from Bath & Body Works. And then I use the Jacob Black Hydrate Primer, Hydrating Primer for Face, which is vegan friendly and cruelty free. And then I put this all over my face and it's not like a pore defining, it's more of a hydration, obviously. And then I'm taking the Maybelline New York uh, Super Stay Foundation in the shade 120. Classic Ivory. I'm not taking much because this is very full coverage. And I'm pretty sure this is an elf sponge. It's my favorite sponge ever. And I'm just applying that all over my face. Then we get the ears. I take the rest of what's on my hand and get down my neck. And then I'm taking the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade Natural Ivory. I think it's L700, the thing kind of wiped off. And then I put it here under my eyes, forehead, nose, chin, right above the chin, or right above the mouth, on my nose. And I put some right here, kind of just to add some structure. I'm going to blend. And then I'm taking the Bare Minerals Clear Radiance Powder and a Mary Kay blush, blush brush. And then I'm setting my face. I don't know if it's just me, but I hate actual powder brushes. Unless they're like the really, really small ones. Because then they're just like too big. But I also use this kind to blend everything together and kind of give it a natural finish and then I take the elf brow pencil in the shade neutral brown and I don't really shape my eyebrows I kind of just fill them in and like I don't like brush through them first or anything because there's really no point if I'm just gonna brush through them again and to blend them together I'll brush through and then I take the elf Clear Brow Lash Mascara, and I just kind of run that through my brows. I should probably get a new one. Oopsies. Oh well. And then I'm going to use the Modern Renaissance Palette from uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. And taking a Mary Kay flat brush, I'm going into the shade Tempera. And putting that all over my eyelid. And then I'm taking this Tristique brush. This is the B100. And I'm going into the shade of Burnt Orange right here. And I'm putting that in my outer corner and crease. I'm bringing it slightly under the eye and then I'm taking this Glamier brush there's it's a flat brush kind of like that and I'm going into the shade Vermeer just a shimmer shade I'm putting that all over the lid and then I'm going back back in with the Tristique brush and kind of blending those two shades together. And then I'm taking a smaller blending brush from Glamier or Glam, Gl yeah, Gl Glamier, Glamier, yeah. I'm going into this orange shade, regular, regular, cutting off a lot of it, taking that kind of towards the outer corner and then the very inner of the crease. And I'm not going to worry about blending it. I'm just kind of worrying about placing it. 
And then I go back in with the trusty brush and blend all of that together. And then I'm gonna go with the NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker. And I'm just gonna kind of outline the upper lash line. And then I'm gonna take the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Like so. And then I'm taking this Sky Organics USDA Organic Cherry Lip Balm. Because my lips are chapped. And then I'm taking this Aesthetica uh, sunset bronzer this is my everyday bronzer i love this and this contour brush that i got for christmas like two years ago for my brother and then i'm taking this elf ultimate blending brush and this flower Beauty Flower Pots Powder Blush in Sweet Pea. And then I take this Bare Minerals Soft Focus Shadow and Blush Brush. And of course, my City Color Highlight Trio. And I use the middle shade right here. excuse the tv if you can hear that i'm pretty sure my mom's watching like a christmas movie or something and then i'm taking this sephora lip liner to go in nude beige and then i'm taking this half caked liquid lipstick in the shade theme song and that's the finished look i'm gonna go do my hair and put on a cuter outfit than you know some sweatpants and i will show you the finished look Hi, I forgot to mention that I'm also going to use the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and set setting spray. Okay, so this is the finished look. I just straightened my hair and put it half up, half down because my hair doesn't do anything interesting. Here's the outfit. I'm going to put it down one. Yep, here's the outfit. And there's the belt. Um, my earrings are little coffee cups. They're from a local shop. This is a Ketra Scott necklace. This is my grandmother's ring. This is a Simply Southern sweater. This belt is from Walmart. These jeans were thrifted and I'm wearing my Vans. My socks are from Journeys, by the way. And yeah, that's, that's Thanksgiving. Happy Turkey Day if you don't celebrate it. Happy fall. I love fall. Except when it's cold. I don't like the cold. And... I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. All my social media will also be down below, and I will see you next time, wherever that may be. Bye!